Hey guys, welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. My name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one and today I'm participating in a mom tag. I was tagged by Colleen from Our Blessed Life, so please go check her out. I'll link her channel down below in the description. And I'm tagging Erica from Road Less Traveled. So her um, link to her channel will be down below as well. And if you want to participate, the questions will be in the description box. So please feel free to join our playlist. So if you see me looking down, I'm looking at the questions. I have them written down on paper so I didn't forget them. So question number one was, how did you meet your spouse? I actually met him when I was in ninth grade and he was a senior. I didn't like him then. And I even tell him I wasn't into him then. Um, it took a few years for him to kind of grow on me and so by the time I was a junior in high school and he was in college that's when we started dating and we've been together ever since we got married in 2005 and we've been together ever since then so we met in high school number two is how old were you when you had your first child I was 28 we got married when I was 25 we wanted to make sure that we were finished with college we had jobs and we did a lot of traveling beforehand and um, that was one of our things we wanted to do before we had kids. And so um, we waited. And so I had Daniel when I was 28. How many children do you have? We have one. And I always say he's the equivalent of probably three. He is full of energy. He is absolutely the funniest person I've ever met. He's just great. So we only have one and we're very happy with one. We've talked about having another one, but... Um, I mean, who knows? My sister and I are 13 years apart, so it could happen. But he's 10, and we're, we're blessed with him, and we're perfectly content just having one. Uh, number four, were all the things you heard about childbirth or adoption right or way off? Well, I haven't adopted, but, um, you know, I only listened to, like, my mom and my grandma. I mean, they had... They had their advice, and they're the people I always talk to, and so they're pretty much right on. Um, but I think the one thing, nobody told me how tired I was going to be after I had Daniel. Like, being pregnant's one thing, but like, once you have a baby and you add that to working and all your other responsibilities, I just, it was, it was hard. And I don't think anybody can describe how tired you'll be after you have a baby. Number five is the biggest advice for someone having a baby. Um, my biggest advice is to accept help. If somebody's willing to help you, then take it. Take their help. You cannot do it all, and you need to take care of yourself also. So if someone's willing to help you out by bringing you food or cleaning your house or just holding the baby while you take a shower or get a nap, take that help. If it wasn't for my family, um, my husband and I would have had a hard time because they helped us out tremendously. My um, father-in-law actually passed away unexpectedly two weeks after my son was born. And there were just tons of people at our house. And if it hadn't have been for my family, I don't know how we would have gotten through that time. And they still help me today. And I have a 10-year-old. So anytime anybody offers to help you, accept it. Accepting help is my greatest advice. Number six, was your pregnancy hard or easy? Well, it depends on who you ask. Um... If you ask my sister, she's going to say I was probably the most miserable person to be around ever. Um, even when I'm not pregnant, if I'm hot or hungry, I'm miserable to be around. Um, she said I was miserable. The only things I can kind of remember is I was uncomfortable. Uh, I was hot. He was born in September, and so um, it was uncomfortable. I was teaching pre-K at the time, and I would get tired, and my feet hurt at the end of the day. But um, during this summer, like the hottest time, uh, my dog and I, we laid in the bed the entire summer in the air conditioning, and we watched TV, and we only got up to go to the bathroom and eat. So it wasn't super bad, but it really just depends on who you ask. I say it wasn't too bad. I had no complications. I mean, he was breech and all that. You know, we knew that we were going to have to have a C-section, but as far as pregnancy goes, it was very normal. So... Just don't ask my sister. She'll tell you I was just miserable. So, there's that. I don't think it was too bad. Number seven, what is the hardest thing about parenting? Oh, goodness. Um, to me, it kind of hits me at nighttime. And when I'm laying there in the bed and I think, you know, like, did I do the best I could today? Did I love my son enough? 
did I teach him everything he needs to know was I kind because I can be snippy and I can be a smart aleck and um, sometimes you know I don't think before I speak and so those are the things I worry about at nighttime. Am I doing it right? Is he does he feel loved? Does he feel safe? Um, you know, did I miss an opportunity? You know, I worry about those things every night and I think I'm gonna worry for the rest of my life. Like you, I just worry that. I'm doing the best I can. Am I doing the best I can for him? So that's the hardest part for me. The most rewarding part, I guess, is just the love. Like, I know that he loves me. Um, you know, and he, even though he's 10, he still likes to be close to me. If I'm doing something in another room, he'll come and hang out in that room with me. And I love it because I'm so afraid that one day, you know, he's going to be gone you know or a teenager or think he's too cool to hang around with me and so just having those moments with him when he wants to come and sit by me or he wants to give me a hug or he wants to give me a kiss and um he's you know when he tells me oh thank you so much for doing you know whatever it was those are the rewarding parts to me number nine is do you have any hobbies or guilty pleasures uh yes um i think my and it, I guess it sounds kind of lame, but my mom and I and my aunt, we love to go Goodwill shopping. We love Goodwills and we'll spend, uh, now my mom and aunt go a lot more than I do, but there'll be days that we'll set aside as our Goodwill days and we'll go to all these Goodwills. We have the most fun. So I absolutely love going Goodwill shopping. That's kind of my guilty pleasure. I look for books, furniture, you know, just different things like that. Um, I also love to watch YouTube. And uh, I love to create things. I was a teacher for 13 years, so I do love to make things. And I get to create things for our homeschool co-op and for things to use at our house. And I also love scary movies. So my son and I are super excited because we both love scary movies. And um, today happens to be Friday the 13th. So I know a Friday the 13th movie is in my future today. Uh, I mean, why not? And we love October and we love Halloween. That's our best time. So I can sit and watch Halloween movies. I mean, I love scary movies. Scary movies are my favorite. So those are my hobbies and guilty pleasures. If you ask my son, though, he would say it was going to Michael's because I have a slight obsession with um, planners and ink pens. So depends on who you ask. Number 10 is if you had to sum up your goal as a mom into two words, what would they be? Um... My goal this year is to just be intentional. I want to be intentional with my words. I want to be intentional with our homeschool. I don't want to fill it full of things that are unnecessary just to, you know, fill up time. I want it to be intentional. I want us to do things that matter. Um, I also want to be intentional with my time, with my time with my husband, my time with my son, my time with my family. I don't... Um, I don't want to waste time. I want to use it and use it purposefully and make sure that I'm present in those times. So my two words are just to be intentional with everything that I do. And then my favorite family memories. Oh my goodness, there's so many. It's hard to like sum that up. But um, I guess traveling. We love to go places. I always have since I was little. And those are the best memories. Those are the things you're going to talk about. And those memories, you know, you can share. And so I love traveling. And um, we try to take my son as many places as we can and share all the places we love. We've been to New York. We've been to Chicago. We've been to Los Angeles. Um, Disneyland, Disney World, which is our favorite. My son and I love Disney World. My husband's more of like a big city person. He wants, he loves New York, Chicago, all that kind of stuff. My son and I would probably live in Disney World if they'd let us. Um, but definitely traveling. And it even doesn't have to be far away. If we just do day trips, weekend trips, we love to go places together because it's just so much fun. You don't have any commitments to work. You don't have to be on your phone. It's just the time together is great. So um, anyway, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Check out the other moms in the mom tag and um, we'll see you next time.